one of the most memorable times that I could remember in really seeing how I made a difference in the life of a student was in my first year of teaching. I was teaching in first grade and I had a student who struggled. His name was Michael. He struggled with reading and I felt um, pretty ill-equipped at being able to help Michael. I really felt out of my depth as a new teacher working with a student who was struggling to learn how to read. And Michael stayed with me. Michael was persistent and confident in me when I wasn't confident in my own skills. I'm happy to say that Michael learned how to read. And the day he came to me and he read aloud a page from a book that we had been working on and then looked up at me with these huge blue eyes, I, to this day, I could burst into tears thinking about it because I recognized that as much as anything, it was Michael's belief that I could teach him how to read that made a difference. I may have made a difference for Michael, but Michael made a difference for me. When I got on Twitter and then subsequently Facebook, half of all these thousands of people who became my new friends are former students who are now adults. So with a public page, I'm wondering, well, what are these folks going to say? And they write on my page. And all these folks are on my page saying, thank you. I'm who I am because of your leadership back when you were my principal or, 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 or your, when you were my teacher. You took me to another level. Sometimes I haven't seen the person since, fifth, since they were in fifth grade and now they're 30 years old. And they say, because of what you instilled in me in grade five. But then in the school, there's so many kids. Maybe in the beginning, Principal Caffelli is tough on me. But by the time I got to graduation, maybe it was that hug when I handed them the diploma and they whispered in my ear, thank you. You look in their face, you see the smile. Their parents shooting pictures and all that kind of thing. Thank you. You did it for my child. You did it for me. So the only way you can really tell that you're making a difference is when you do the right thing. And you have to trust that when you do the right thing, you are making a difference. I mean, that's the thing that we, 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 we beat ourselves up about, you know, because we don't see the instant gratification. Teaching, learning is not about instant gratification. We tell that to the kids, but we forget it sometimes ourselves. There are days when I'm doing something and the light bulb doesn't come on until six months later. But because I laid the foundation that day, six months later, the light bulb comes on. And just because I'm not around when it happens, doesn't mean that I didn't make a difference. So I have to trust that even when I don't see the light bulb, if I do the right thing for kids, I will make a difference. I had a student who really didn't think he was going to be successful. And um, as the brain lady at school, um, I always taught the students about their brains. And I gave them really simple uh, memory tests that they would all be successful with. And sometimes after those tests, the kids would come up and say, wow, my brain really does work. I think I can start remembering some of the things that I'm learning. So, and, and many of them went on to college who didn't think they were going to go on to college. And I'm sure it wasn't all me, but I like to think that I had a small part in some of that. It was always a funny thing to me that um, you, when you're a teacher, you have a relationship with a child for the course of one year. It has a beginning moment and it's supposed to have an ending moment. But now because of social media, the ending moment is not necessarily the ending moment anymore. And so you get to see these kids grow. You get to see the things that you've taught them and how they're applying them as they get older. And for me, I think that's become a transformational part of who I am as an educator. It's, it's part of my identity now to continue to teach these teachers. It's felt wonderful making a difference in kids' lives. First one is they show up the next day. They have courage after how hard school's been to come to the schoolhouse door the next day and to step over the threshold. Not only that, but they've stepped over the threshold into my classroom and they've decided my classroom is a better place to be than the hallway. Wow, love that. Um, that they tell me that they actually did their homework that they want to start the homework in class, that they want to talk to me about the homework, that they raise their hands and want to shout out when I'm asking a question, that 
another teacher down the hall says to me, hey, your student mentioned something going on in your class. Or when I'm talking to their parents, the parents are saying, hey, my child said something that was going on in class. My kids never talked about school before. Or that my students said they want to go on to college. Um, or that I meet them in the street afterwards and they remember something that happened in class. There's a great line that you never know when you're making a memory. It's from Ricky Lee Jones. And when they just tell you back those little nuggets, they're like, oh yes, I vaguely remember telling that to you five years ago. But you know that they're carrying something that you gave them is incredibly fulfilling. It's addictive. Because of the digital age that we live in, I've been blessed to receive numerous um, messages of feedback from students via email, social media, about how the culture that we created or have been working on at New Milford High School has had a positive impact on them and how it's given them an advantage as compared to their peers, whether it be in college or careers. And it's every email. It, it's every tweet, it's every Facebook update that really is a, a message of gratitude for the fact that we thought outside the box, we pushed the envelope, we created this, this culture that was not only different, but that was better. And it's by taking those calculated risks, you know, going with our guts, not feeling, fearing failure, and, and really putting students first. Mm -hmm.